channel, it's Ari Artistry here, and I'm coming at you with this bomb ass look. Bright as hell, all right? <laughs> We're trying to get everybody to notice our eyes right now. So, yeah, I picked up the Jackie Ina. Damn, I keep saying Jackie Ina. Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I picked up the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, and I actually really do like it. So I wanted to do some bright summer spring vibes with this look, and I hope it's giving it to you because it is to me. Like, I don't know, this just looks like a sunset. But yeah, I really, really like the palette. So if you are interested, I have it listed down below so you guys can cop that. But before we get in the video, please subscribe to my channel. Welcome. If you're new here, we are very fun here. You want to join the Mermaid Squad so you can be my little mermaid. And that's it. Just subscribe. <laughs> and don't forget to put your notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video. And if you do like videos like this, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what other looks you want to see from this palette because I want to keep it going. I want to keep using this, especially with these bright colors. So yeah, without further ado, if you want to see how to get this look right here, just keep watching. What up, what up? So let's get into some spring vibes. I really want to make my eyeshadow pop today so I'm gonna play with this guy right here I got the new Jacqueline Jacqueline yeah Jacqueline Hill I was gonna say Jackie Anna I got the new uh, Jacqueline Hill palette with Morphe it's so freaking beautiful I love all the colors um, I don't have the original but if you are more of like a neutral person the original is definitely your vibe I just like this because it has all these bright colors in it and it also has some neutrals in it as well and it's only 40 bucks so you can't beat that just be careful because I feel like the packaging is so thin. Um, I don't, I don't know. Just be careful when you travel with this because I feel like it can just get broken easily. Um, I did order this online and it did come broken, but I'm not going to come at them because it was packaged really, really nicely. It was wrapped all up in bubble wrap, so I just went to the store and just exchanged it, but it's beautiful. I haven't played with it yet, so I'm really excited to get into this spring vibe. So I already have my eyes primed. I actually use two primers because we really want the color to pop. So the reason why I use two is because the Anastasia primer that I love that I always use, it doesn't hold on as well um, as the Urban Decay primer that I use. So I have to use it as a base and then use this or else it'll crease throughout the day and it doesn't look cute. So I just have to mix the two. So I really want to do pastels since it is spring. There is a couple pastels in here too. The first shade that I'm going to start off with is Positivity. Right? Yeah. It's just spelled positive and then T. So. <laughs> um, but I'm going to take that on a crown C511 brush. This guy right here. And I'm really going to pack that on into the crease. Ooh, look how bright. Yes. I feel like this is gonna be like neon and not pastel as I want it, but it's, it's fine, it's fine. And then I just tap on just to make the color a lot more pigmented. Wow, this is actually really nice. I love this color. I think this color is so freaking pretty. I'm about to be looking real crazy going to the laundromat. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take the back of the brush and just kind of blend out the edges. So. There's no harsh lines. All right, so now I'm gonna take my Anastasia primer again and just cut the crease. And I'm just taking this flat brush right here and I'm just gonna place it, look up, and then start to cut. Makes life so much easier. And I just like to kind of place it there and then I'll start to cut once I get kind of like a shape going. And then I want to kind of bring it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna cut where the outer V is. See, so yeah, it's like kind of a wing. All right, now that I cut the crease, I'm gonna go in with Lolly Mama. And this is like a pretty pinky, what color is this? Not a fuchsia. I don't know, I'm really bad at describing colors. <laughs> I'm just gonna place it in the inner corner and then push it out. I'm definitely not used to these colors at all, <laughs> but we're trying to venture out. Girl, we bright. Whoa. I might have to take this off before I go to the laundry mat, dude, because I'm going to look crazy. All right, now we're going to dip into Therapy Sesh, which is this really pretty purple. I'm just going to put it on the end. And I'm going to push the purple into Lolly Mama, just to make sure they blend. And then dip into Lolly Mama on the back of the brush. 
and then just kind of play with both of them. Now I'm gonna take the brush that we used for positivity and just kind of blend. I think I'm gonna add a darker color over here just to add some definition. So I'm gonna go into Not My Journey, which is just a darker purple. And I'm just gonna put it on the outer V just to give more definition. It's a little bit. Yeah, that's better. All right, so definitely to figure the purpose of cutting it um, like sharp here. But I think this looks a lot better. Now I'm gonna switch over to a C528 brush, this little guy right here, and then just kinda add a little bit more in the crease just to blend them. I know this looks crazy, but this is not the final look, so. <laughs> it didn't come out how I wanted it to. It's pretty, but I had to add some black over here because I don't know, I guess the primer didn't like sit well and it like made it darker than it was supposed to be. So I had to add black, which I didn't want to do. But here we are. Um, I think it's really pretty. I just have to clean it up and I think it'll look pretty nice. But I'm going to be popping some lashes on. So these are my AliExpress lashes and they are in the style E11. So I'm going to pop these bad boys on and then I'll be right back. All right, so it's not terrible. I don't hate it. Um, I didn't want to go as dark. I did want to keep it kind of bright, but it's fine. I'm gonna clean up on the sides. I know they're probably uneven, but I don't want to cut it too short. So we're gonna move on to foundation. Um, I decided that I'm gonna start showing foundation because you guys really do like it. I'm just gonna make it kind of quick because I don't want the video to be too long for you guys. What I did on top of my eyes, I just cleaned it up and then I did some liquid liner, um, mascara, and that is it. So Let's move on to foundation. I'm gonna be taking my All Nighter Face Primer by Urban CK and just put this all over my face. Now I'm gonna take my trusty corrector. This is the Stay Naked Pro Customizer by Urban Decay in the shade Pure Red. I'm just gonna put it around my mouth and then under my eyes and blend, blend, blend. And to blend, I'm just using this It Cosmetics brush. This is blending concealer. All right, so now that this is all blended, we're gonna go into my foundation so you guys already know if you're new this is my favorite foundation ever i do have a video on it so definitely go check that out it is the stay naked foundation by urban decay and i use the shade 61 nn and 70 nn and i mix those two together because 61 is a little too light and 70 is a little too dark and there is no in between so i just gotta mix the two and i do one pump of each so i'm just gonna mix these two guys together and then put the leftover on my face especially around my mouth and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just pounce it all over. In my last video, I showed you guys how I covered my acne scars. They're actually lightening up, so I don't have to do as much work. And the leftover, I just put around my mouth just so you don't see the red just in case. And then I flip it over to the other side and get the excess. So I did bring my cream contour out here this time. So we're gonna make cream contouring. So I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place stick of it Little, little block. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place Stick Foundation in the shade Casina. Put it on my nose, under my jaw. I did my cheekbones and then on my forehead. Wherever I usually use bronzer, that's where you wanna put it. And then I'm gonna be blending with my Real Techniques setting brush. If you guys have any foundations that you've recently been loving, please leave it down in the comments below. I have oily skin. Um, I'm just kinda trying to switch it up because I love the Urban Decay one, but I want to try other foundations. And for my nose, I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to use this other IT Cosmetics brush, and this is the Airbrush Crease. It's really cute. And I'm going to go in with concealer. This is the Stay Naked Concealer by Urban, and this is in the shade 60NN. And then I just do my little upside down triangle, and then I put on my nose, my forehead, my chin, and then I blend with my smaller beauty blender. And this is where I'm going to cut my line over here not cut like make it sharper see that looks so much better compared to the other one all right so now we're going to set under our eyes i'm just gonna blend a little bit with my other beauty blender on the sides yeah all right now we're gonna set under our eyes using the ben nye banana powder and i don't really bake so 
I just set it with a um, regular brush. This is the setting brush by Real Techniques. This banana powder is like magic. I freaking love it. And I'm gonna take this bigger brush by Urban Decay. This is faded. <laughs> I think it's a powder brush. And I just set like under my eye. And then I use the Real Techniques brush wherever I put the concealer. So just to kind of give my skin a refresh, I'm gonna use this Quick Fix right here. And I'm gonna freeze my ass off because it's so cool. And this has coconut in it. It's really, really nice. Um, it's very similar to Max Fix Plus. It just has coconut in it. And now that I just did that, I'm gonna <laughs> set with powder. So I'm gonna take my Max Studio Fix powder and this is an NC50. And I'm just gonna use this dome brush right here. And I usually go right here to make sure that the contour looks pretty natural. And I have some acne scars right there. So it just covers that around my mouth so I get that redness. Then I do my neck a little bit too, just in case. So no one can come at me, okay? <laughs> so now to set my contour, I'm gonna be using my Becca Ipanema Sun Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. This is the only thing I think I'll never change because it's just so freaking good. I love it. Like, look at that. It just gives it such nice warmth. And I just put it on top of whatever I did for the cream contour. And then make sure you blend your concealer line over here. All right, this is coming together. I definitely wanted it a little more bright. Like, I feel like it's, there's a lot of dimension down here, but it is what it is, you know? Just gotta roll with the punches. Now for blusher, I'm gonna use Peaches by MAC. This is more summery. I usually wear this blush in the summer, but I think it's gonna tie nicely with this eye. Oh yeah, it's so pretty. And I'm using this with a Becca Angled Highlighter Brush. Setting brush that I use by Real Techniques just to blend the harsh lines. Oh, I didn't set my nose. Psych! Let's do that real quick. And I'm just taking a smaller version of that angled brush I used for my face contour. For highlight, I'm going back to my Becca, Malika, and Chloe collection. This is the highlighter right here. It is called Dusted. And I'm gonna use this with the Morphe M510. Oh, I forgot to miss my pimple, oh well. I ain't trying to have that listening in the light. <laughs> Not at all. I'm just going to put this right on my cheekbones, on my nose, cubic bow, nose, I mean uh, chin, and then a little bit on my temples. And then the real techniques again, just to do the same. All right, so we are done with the face. So I'm going to go back to the top of my eyes real quick. Um, since this is an all matte eye, I don't mind it, but you guys know I like a little shim shimmer. So I'm gonna put some of the Urban Decay on the glitter, heavy metal glitters. I think I'm gonna use this one, this is in volume. So I'm just going to outline like I usually do, just enough, you know? All right, so now for underneath my eyes, I really wanted to do another color, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna dip into Stay True, but I'm actually gonna put this Anastasia primer underneath first especially in the inner corner since I want that a little bit brighter. All right, so now I'm gonna dip into that Stay True shade and take my C528 little brush. And I'm gonna stick this back here. Since the purple's already down there, I'm just gonna kind of marry the two. I think this is my favorite shade. I love this color, it's so pretty. Ooh, yes, okay. She's cute. Now I'm gonna take a small pointer brush this is a C513, and I'm gonna go into No Joke, which is this bright yellow. And I'm gonna pop that right in the inner part of my eye. She's cute, she's different. We like to be adventurous over here, okay? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of Lolly Mama just to blend the two a little bit better. Oh yeah, right where they meet, I'm just gonna pop it right here. Okay, we got pops everywhere. We got pop on the top, pop on the bottom. What's up? So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my bottom lashes with the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer. And this just makes them really long. So for lips, we're gonna go bold. It's like, <laughs> we're gonna go very neutral. Um, I was gonna use this shade right here. This is by Urban Decay, it's called Back Talk. Back Talk. <laughs> Um, and it's just like a pretty mauve shade. I think it'll be really pretty with this look. I'm just gonna line my lips with the uh, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. I actually just ordered a box of them 
like every color for my kit because they really do stay on. And then I'm gonna pop back talk in the center. Ooh, girl, I might change this. I don't know, it's, it's a lot for me, okay? <laughs> I can't do all of this color. I might have to change to a nude. So, scratch that. Let's uh, take this off. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to Becca, yours truly, one of my favorite nudes. Yes, this is my vibe, 100%. And then go back over with the liner. And I am gonna add some gloss. So I'm gonna take this Becca Glow Gloss, and this is in the shade Opal. So much better, yes. So now we're gonna go in with some mascara for the bottom. I'm gonna use Perversion by Urban Decay, and this is in the waterproof one. Now just to finish it all off, you know we have to use our setting spray. So this is Urban Decay D Slick. <laughs> so here is the finished look. I really do like how it came out. Um, I wasn't really trying to do the whole dramatic like end part, but I mean, it looks really cute. I love all the colors. It just, I don't know, it gets me ready for summer. And I love the glitter. It just like gives you a little pop, you know. As far as the palette, I definitely think you guys should try it out. If you're not into bright color like this, I would recommend her first palette because her first palette has more neutrals and it has some color in there, but not as much as this one. This one has like a bunch of bright colors and I don't know, it's just like my vibe. I love it. I think the pigment is A1. It's very, very nice. Um, I didn't have any issues with any of the shadows and I think the price is great. It's only 40 bucks. I'm going to be playing with that palette a lot more. So definitely give me some suggestions of what colors you guys want to see. Leave it down in the comments down below. I hope you guys like this video i hope it gave you some spring vibes some summer vibes now that winter is finally over thank god i'm like so over it don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel be a part of my mermaid squad and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>